The unsayable today, it is to point to the progressive critique and uh, 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 making available white supremacy as actually the criminal in the country. So, for artists to evade, to completely escape that angle, to say those things, um, no matter how much they or we think um, uh, they are they are morally uh, inspired. We what is fundamental to the cultural process and to what is expressible um, and what constitutes speech. It is how speech always already has to be consistent with white demands. So the the the, the fact that we think we're saying something. Um, and that we must be sympathetic to this and not be critical of it um, can also just be our mistake. I think artists, culturalists, and just people who have moral interest in a political question um, cannot be sympathetically criticized or sympathetically evaluated in terms of what they say. Because What, what, what we see in the arts um, and what we see constitutes expression or the right to speak, it is precisely that goes against black people. There is no freedom of expression that moves against whites. No one can sanction and no one can protect freedom of expression that criticizes whites. Because the converse is not possible. As Domiso was saying with regards to Zanelli's example, the converse is not possible. We don't have enough uh, vocabulary, we don't have at least uh, a, a kind of language that is accepted uh, in, 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 in South Africa that, is articul that articulates that demand. So for me, I mean, I, I, I just wanted to say that. I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> okay, I'll now open open the question session to the floor. Uh, we'll take the first round. Please start with introducing yourself and straight to the question. Any takers? Hello. <laughs> 